Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy SEO Official back with another video. A lot of us have been in a position where we're buying something off someone we know or maybe we don't know and you want to be able to authenticate the product. You want to have comfort over knowing that it's real. And so today I'm going to be helping you with that in relation to Versace belts. So the model I've got in front of me right now is the Versace Palazzo belt. If you did want to see more on the authentic belt and watch a quick fit review on that, click the top right now where I'll put a link to the video I did on that. Just out of interest, before I get into the tips, let me know down below in the comments which one you think's real, left or right. I'll give you a couple of seconds to guess and choose which one you think it is, and I'll put the answers on the screen shortly. So the genuine Versace belt is actually on the right hand side in this video. It will be there for the whole video and that obviously means the fake is on the left. The first thing I'd advise you to look at is actually the stuff that comes with the belts, not just the belts. So first off, I'm gonna show you the dust bags. So this is the fake one here and the real one will look something like this. This one's very obvious and you probably will come across ones which are um, a lot better disguised but here you can just see the fonts inconsistent the print is smudged and these are just giveaway signs of a fake straight away if you look at the real one you can see the print is a lot more detailed the Versace logo is very sharp and then you've got the drawstrings at the top as well a lot of the fakes do come with these kind of fake authenticity cards as well sometimes so if you do get something looking like this chances are it's going to be a fake quickly in terms of boxing the real one did come in this magnetic clip type box here opening up is just black all the way through boxes like these that come direct from the brand do change over time so like if you go back a couple of years they obviously wouldn't have been using this box likewise if you move forward two years they're probably not going to be using this box so i wouldn't read too much into the box situation but do bear it in mind because if the box does look crumpled it does look poor quality um the fonts are messed up for example then those are all signs of fakes if you watch any of my other videos as well you'll see these things are consistent across the board with fakes so look out for all of those signs but that's enough talking on the extras so now let's move on and look at the actual belt So one of the good things about Versace belts is that they come with Certi logo codes. Now I've covered this in this video because what people do is they'll go online, go onto the website and type in the code. Once you do that and loads of people start doing that, it flags up on Certi logo's system because it's almost like an indication that a code has been replicated, which is going to be linked with fakes and stuff. So that's why the code's covered here. But if the belt you're looking at does come with the code, what you can do is just go online, type that code in, and it will just tell you whether your belt is real or fake. Now if we move on to the 3D Medusa head buckle, you've got the fake one there on the left, the real one is on the right. What you're gonna see is that the real one does shine a bit more and does look slightly more detailed. However, the difference is very minor. And what I'd actually recommend doing is looking at the back of the buckle rather than the detail on the front. Because if you are buying from someone else, you're obviously not gonna have both of them um, next to each other. So on the back of the buckle, you want to look at three things. You wanna look at the Versace engraving, you want to look at the screws and you also want to look at the little outline gap which is traveling around the outside edge of the medusa head so we'll start with that because that's easiest but if you look the real one the gap on the real ones and this is consistent across all of them is bigger than you'll see on the fakes i've zoomed in for you here so hopefully that's a bit clearer now but you should be able to see the gap difference you also want to look at the screws like i was saying they should be flush and quite small as well the fake ones are too big and then you also want to look at the versace right and with the made in italy below it which should be very sharp the fake is at the top now and the real one is at the bottom. Once again, these are very minor details, but they can help you a lot when spotting fakes. Um, the last thing to look at will just be the strap. So looking at the strap, this is one of the more obvious differences. And what you're looking at here is just the quality of the leather. Without going into any detail at all, you can see that the leather on the fake one on the top isn't as good as it is on this one here. Even down to the small details like the stitching across here, um, the paddedness of this ring here. The real one does show better quality in all of the strap aspects so that can be a good thing for you to look at as well. We've obviously got the serial codes here and then your Versace made in Italy which is also on the real one here somewhere there. Now in relation to these details and particularly the serial codes I don't really recommend worrying too much about what the serial code actually says. What you should be looking at more importantly is how it's been written in. I mean how it's been embossed into the leather. And when I say this I don't mean completely disregard the code because obviously it still needs to match up to the actual model of the belt. But the majority of fakes we see today do copy the model numbers correctly so they are all likely to be copied from genuine models and this means that just looking at the code on its own isn't going to help us too much. You want to make sure that it's been embossed in sharply and with detail and just comparing the two here you can see the real one does look a lot sharper the letters and numbers are all more defined and that's true for the serial codes here and for the versace made in italy as well 
Lastly, looking at the inside of the belt, we can see that the little lines coming from the belt holes are a bit longer on the real one. And if we turn it to the outside, those same lines look even longer on the real one and they show up a lot more clearly as well. So that sums up my video on how to spot fake or replica Versace belts. If you do want to see some more guides on some other brands such as LV or Gucci, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Leave a like if you found this video useful and I'll see you guys again on the next video.